This is the cable from the satellite receiver dish outside. That goes directly into the Ethernet adapter, which you also need to buy with the Starlink. So just plug that straight into there. And the other end of the Ethernet adapter goes into the base of the unit receiving unit, like so. And then plug the power into the base of the receiving unit. Make sure that's all nice and tight. Now the other end of the Ethernet adapter for the Starlink has an Ethernet port and that goes into the Ethernet port of the Orbi. Like so. As you can see, we're running the Starlink app on the phone. And I'll connect to the Starlink Wi-Fi so I can talk. To and it's just getting set now to find a satellite. Now connected. And we're online with the Starlink. So when you get a brand new Orbi, the default IP addressing will be the same as the Starlink. So what the Orbi does is it reconfigures itself to be a different IP address range. So there's no conflict and that's what's happened here. Let's hit continue. And I'm setting this up using a PC, but you could also use the app. Successfully connected to the Starlink. I'll skip the Orbi satellite setup. So skip to the next section, and this is just the registration. It's important to register your Orbi to yourself. So it's just orbilogin.com, and you see we're connected. And if I start up speed test. And I'll connect to, say, Telstra. Let's see what speeds we get on Starlink. So ping time is 56 milliseconds, and we're getting about 300 or so megabits per second on the downlink. uplink we're 
getting about 12 megabits.